Hello everybody, this is Nandu Ram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today our topic is flying high. Let us see here some of the birds are singing about themselves. On my head I have a chest, all say hi, dance the best. Home my feathers, I am proud, before the rain I cry aloud. These words are, words are said by Peacock. Long and grooved is my tail, high up in the sky I sail. I pick and eat all the mice. These words are said by eagle. My feathers are green. My beak is red. Goa and green. Chili I am fed. I love to copy people's voice. These words are said by parrot. Black or my feathers and black. Is my boy. Coo coo coo. I do all the day along. These words are said by crow. Coo 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 is my sound. Everywhere. I am proud. My sweet voice gives me fame. I am a coil. Dead animals I do eat. Making pieces clean and neat. High up in the sky I will fly. I am a vulture. My beak is pink, feathers and grey. Guters grew. I go on all the day. I In a house I make my home. These words are said by pigeon. The owl said that stop this bullo. Why all are quarreling? Now Coyle said that we all are special in our own ways. Our claws, beaks, feathers and sound are different. Yes, yet we all are birds. If we all looked alike, ate the same food and made the same sound, think how the dull the world would be. Coyle is saying to Owl, now you go out and look for birds on the trees. Some birds are in water, some are on ground and some are around the bushes. How many birds would you like to see? Birds beaks are very important. They help the bird to collect the food and sometimes they rip, tear or crush the food. They can act as an extra hand. Such as when parrots use their beak for climbing up the trees. They use the for building a nest and in some birds like tailor bird, they use their beak for to tie a knot. Let us see the types of beaks. Thin and pointed beak. An acute beak is one that traps to a fine point at the end. This type of beak is delicate and can be found in many insects eating birds and such as warblers. Sharp curved beak. Carnivorous birds like eagles have sharp curved beak with a razor sharp tip that helps them to tear their prey into small pieces. So has to make it easier to swallow. Decurved beaks. Decurved beaks is one that curves downwards. The creepers are one type of bird that have this type of beak. The curve helps them to pull insects out of the bark of the trees. Flat beaks. Ducks have being an aquatic bird. Ducks have flat beaks that help strain that water from the sides when they consume food which includes aquatic plants and animals. Long beak. Long beak is much longer than the head. This type of beak helps the bird to grab the food and that may be otherwise be out of reach. Examples Woodcock. It is having used their long beak to probe for warm, worms in mud. Long beak. A long beak is much longer than the head. This type of beak helps the bird to grab food that may otherwise to be out of reach. Woodcocks, for the example, use their long beak to probe worms in mud. Sharp and long beak. The shape of the beak is cylindrical in sharp. It looks like a circle as you look like it as a straight line. This type of beak is found in hummingbird family. Now we know that birds have different types of beaks. They also eat different types of food. While some eat fruits, some eat seeds, some eat eggs and while some eat uh, fish. Have you noticed that birds fly and walk in different ways? Yes, then their neck movements also very differ. The mina moves her neck back and forth with a jerk. The owl can rotate its necks backwards to a large extent. Some birds like coil, they imitate our voice. Let us see how the feathers are used helpful to the birds. The feathers of a bird are different colors, shapes and sizes. The feathers help them to fly and keep their body warm too. From time to time, birds lose their old feathers and new feathers grow in their place. You must have often seen the feathers of a bird lying on a ground. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy.